my name is Justin and I work at Ventura College in the Turing Center and today we're going to go over prime factorization and finding the least common multiple. And this is a good tool so that we can learn how to uh, add fraction with unlike, denom unlike denominators. Um, the first, first problem we have is finding the least common multiple of 9 and 15. So step 1, or we'll call it step A, is to write the prime factors of 9 and 15. And the prime factors are numbers that are divisible by 1 and themselves. So for 9, we would write 9 is equal to 3 times 3. Notice that 3 is only divisible by 1 and itself. No other number can divide 3 and become even, or be an even number. The next number is 15. So we want to write the prime factors of 15. Um, that would be 5 multiplied by 3. Again, 5 and 3 are the only numbers that are divisible by themselves. Uh, 5 can only be divided by 5 in itself. 3 is only 3 and 1. So now, after we've written the prime factors, uh, we look for the greatest number. Uh, in this case, it's two threes. So we circle both of them. Now we look for the greatest number of fives there are here. There's only one, so we circle that. We don't circle this three because there's two greater, there's two. We choose the two greatest ones. So part B now is to write the least common multiple. And that is all the circled numbers multiplied by each other. So that's three times three times five which equals 3 times 3 is 9, multiplied by 5 is 45. So 45 is the least common multiple of 9 and 15. So now we're finding the least common multiple of 24 and 36. So step A is to write the prime factors of 24 and the prime factors of 36. So 24 is 8 times 3 but 8 is not a prime number, so we need to write 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which gives us 8, and then we need this 3. 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. 36 is 12 times 3, which 12 is not a prime number, so we need to write this in prime factorization form. Um, it's 4 times 3 times 3, which is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So now we look for the greatest number of 2's, and that's either in this 24 or in this 36. So there's how many 2's here? 1, 2, 3. And how many 2's in 36? 1, 2. So we're going to choose the 3 2's from the 24. Now we look at our other prime factorization numbers, and that's 3. There's one 3 here, and two 3's here. So we choose the greatest number of them, and that's in the 36, and that's, there's two of them. So now our least common multiple of 24 and 36 is 2 times 2 times 2. multiply by 3 times 3. And that's equal to 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. So 8 times 9 is just 72. So our least common multiple of 24 and 36 is 72.